Hello and welcome everyone, this is Kalabovish coming to you with the very first episode of Good News, Evil News, uh, where I will be looking at patch notes for Storybook Brawl and trying to uh, predict what will come out of it and giving my comments whether I like these changes or not. And the title of today's episode is The Triumph of Evil, which should be a bit of a spoiler alert of what I think about this patch. Anyway, let's get down to the notes of patch 0 0.60.2. Let's go. Uh, when uh, Storybook Brawl came out, the developers uh, have been doing a patch release every Monday around midnight European time. Uh, for the last one, we had to wait two weeks. They said it would be a bigger one and they did change more things than they usually have. Although personally, also a bit of TLDR, um, I was hoping for a bit more from this patch. It doesn't mean the patch is bad or anything like that. It just means I, 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 was, I was somewhere hoping for a bit more. L let's take a look. So the first thing they are addressing is the experience point rush, which means Usually, or rather more often than not, the winner of the lobby is the person who gets to level 6 the fastest. Which means Adventurer, or Adventure and Grim Soul. Spells like Turkish Delight, the one that you can see here, aka Trash Can Delight. And when you hear that, you cannot unsee it. Trash Can Delight, The End, and Wish Upon a Star become, uh, become more important. Because the power level of characters through levels just skyrockets um, uh, over time. So on level two, you have two ones, two threes, etc. On level four, you have seven sevens. On level, uh, on level six, you have 20 twenties with huge abilities or three threes with amazing abilities, but we'll get to that soon. It also means if you're the first person to reach level 5 and you get a Wretched Mummy, you can usually wreck the opponent's board without much help. And if your board is full, then you shouldn't have any problems winning that brawl. When, you, when you're the first one to reach level 6 or get level 6 characters, then those should give you a huge boost and also help you win, uh, win your brawls and hopefully win the lobby. So what they did was they addressed two of the spells. Turkish Delight and the end. Turkish Delight now doesn't give you three health, just the experience point. And they said, this is now the baseline for gaining experience. Pay four gold, gain one experience. Previously, you also gained the small health buffer because if you went for this early on, when you reached level three, because this is a level three spell, for those of you who don't know that spells have levels, um, you could have picked this one mitigated three damage you would receive by not having a full board or not developing developing your board just purchasing the spell um, which meant slight dip in health but uh, a, a huge gain in tempo uh, for late game uh, right now you have a bigger dip of health so this is uh, a more riskier kind of reward if you already have a good board you can you can go for trash can delight and you shouldn't worry about uh, uh, you shouldn't worry about uh, catching up on the board. The end uh, will have a, an improved graphic if you if you dip into if you get into the client you can see it right now. Uh, but I don't think these wait are the graphic changes in clients right now. Let me see spells. The end. Yes, I believe the the new graphic for the end is is actually this one. Uh, but the but it's not to gold devour a character to gain one XP anymore. Right now it is going to be three gold devour a character to gain one XP and health equal to its level. So they kind of changed uh, over Turkish delight and the end a bit balancing it a bit more i think the end now is slightly more playable also the possibility of gaining health um over time throughout the brawl 
is quite important, especially with the Morgan Le Fay uh, change that you might that you will see in a moment. Uh, this also means you cannot play the end and devour one character twice if you have fork. Uh, so this puts the power level of the end right where it should be, give or take. So uh, to sum up these two changes, it's going to be slightly more difficult to regain to, to maintain tempo while leveling up fast. But once you have a good board, you can still uh, lock your store for a trash can delight or for the end, and you and that's still a viable combo, just slightly less OP theoretically. Now speaking of OP, good boy, as you can see, we either had to change good boy's name to too good good boy or nerf him. We decided not to change his name, and the change is stats, and these. Uh, this is the most numerous change you, you can see in this patch. They change the stats of a lot of characters without changing their abilities. The developers of Storybook Brawl also said somewhere in the beginning they do not like changing the heart of the card, uh, but, they do, uh, but they do want to nerf and or buff cards so that they see more play. Uh, so the heart of the card is still here and it is still OP. Uh, even if slightly less so. I mean, good boy, without any support of um, of treasures and or, well, support characters and spells, is just uh, an AoE friendly spirit. But still, if you have a magic sword plus 100, which is a level 6 treasure, maybe it should be a level 7 treasure, as a lot of people have been clamoring for it to be, then good boy is still 103 attack, 3 health, it still gives that 103 attack to your back row shooters, and then those can take down anything. Or it can uh, it can multiply the attack of an Echo Wood even more so. This stat change will mean that just plain old slapping a good boy and any uh, any level three char good characters is not going to be as uh, as insane. It also means that. Uh, an upgraded good boy, usually via knighthood, is not going to be a 10-10, but it's going to be a 6-6, which means it's not going to give 20-20 of stats, but 12-12 of stats. So that's a slight dip in, in stats that it's giving out, uh, and the stats that Echo Wood will be receiving. So it puts the, the power level of good boy from insane to slightly less insane, uh, but as the ability still stays here, I believe it is still uh, going to be quite good of a card, of a character. Next change is Hardwood Elder, the uh, forecasting 2-9 trans with support. At the start of each brawl, instead of giving plus 1, plus 2 permanently, it's going to give plus 2, plus 2 permanently to two trees in front of it. And if, uh, if you go into the client and if you look at the trees... There's not a lot of them, and they are really the top end. You have four trees at at level six, and these honestly do not need the plus two plus two. Uh, rotten apple tree also just needs one attack. It doesn't need two attack more often than not. Where this shines, where this buff shines, is if you start the game with a happy little tree, especially if you are able to uh, to upgrade it. Uh, an upgraded happy little tree gets plus four health permanently each round and the biggest problem with happy little tree is it doesn't have any attack so it either needs support of mim or sporko or something like that it needs darkwood creeper in the action as well but if you can buff its attack twice as fast with hardwood elder then i believe uh, picking up hardwood elder uh early in level four if you already have a happy little tree from rounds one, two, or three, that should be really good. The other where the other place where it should shine is with the nutcracker. So if you start up on level four, if you see these two, well, it, it's it would be a good highlight of your board overall. So decent change, uh, but not groundbreaking. Like the five and fives and sixes really do not need that. Okay, moving on. We have uh, some more small stat changes. The Chupacabra. 
is changed from a 5.5 to a 7.5. This is actually a more significant change than some of the others because this character has a slay ability, which means the higher its attack, the more likely the proc is, the proc of the ability is. So it's gonna slay a bit more, it's gonna grow a bit more. So this is your stepping stone towards a, a mid through end game slay composition, even more so. Vainpire is still really really mediocre only good against uh, only really good early with skip or peter pants or with or against some some animal comms that are not specifically evil all right the puff or rather the buff you've been all waiting for is for puff puff it is no longer a 5-5 five five, it is a 6-6 six six. so honestly this means puff puffs for everyone have died once and have procced once, so they have gained literally everywhere plus one plus one permanently. Um, this doesn't change the strategy behind puff puffs, it just means that early on that they can trade slightly higher, but still in the end game they will not rise to the level of Echo Wood, they will not rise to the level of Good Boy. So they still have the same problem as late game Peter Pan's compositions do. They have a ceiling. Uh, well, it, unless you have like Boots of Hermes copycats into a knighted Puff Puff, it, also while playing uh, Trophy Hunter and or Grim Souls, then maybe. Uh, you can go for like two or three puff puffs if you get multiples of them and they will grow on your board If you can combine that with Darkwood Creeper or something like that. Sure. They can carry you through mid game, but This does not mean that a seven puff puff composition is your uh, is your end game composition also uh, It is a good note that puff puffs are not OP because if if you if you want to if the person with more puff puffs wins, then it means the character is kind of broken. It's not right now. It's still fun. I will probably be testing them sooner rather than later if they are more viable for the mid game. And most of these changes, honestly, that they've made with Chupacabra, with Treant, uh, with Puff Puff, with, with Juliet are for the mid game. Because Juliet now, instead of a 6-6, six, six, is a 7-7. Seven, seven. It is a vanilla <laughs> buff. Uh, but if you combine that with Romeo's buff, if Juliet is dead, summon her and give her, instead of plus six, plus six, plus seven, plus seven, small stat changes, uh, mid-game is all about stats. So mid-game changes is what these are all about. So it's no, probably, so it's no longer only again about finding uh, scavenging vulture or uh, fairy godmother for animal and good comps, respectively. Uh, next change is to knee and see terror instead of 8-8 eight, eight, it's a 10-10 but you only need it for two copies and a treasure the upgraded version is a 20-20 instead of a 16-16 which is a small change but not a huge change next one is southern siren from 8-8 eight, eight to 10-10 as well but the difference lies in the text this one has a slay ability summon an exact copy of the slain character and Southern Siren with a higher attack value means a higher probability of slaying an opposing character. Also, if Siren slays something and she dies, so if you and you have a full board prior to that, so you have a full board once again, full full board. Southern Siren, let's say, is in seat one. She goes first. She slays something, but she dies as well. But she can summon that copy in her own place. So for Southern Siren, a good change for Nian. Who cares? Uh, rotten apple tree is getting its health buffed. Fortunately, not its attack. So you still need to need to get its attack to at least up at least one. Uh, rotten apple tree still very good, even better now. But what these three changes honestly mean, the hidden context of that is it is actually a buff. Or the great pumpkin king. Last breath, for each of your dead evil characters, summon a random lower uh, level evil character. And Great Pumpkin King, King comps usually consist of level 5s and level 6s in evil. And when those level 6s summon you level 5s, 
that are slightly bigger, that is a more health on rotten apple tree, that is a slightly bigger siren, that it is a slightly bigger neon, then this becomes an even better late game composition. All right, moving on. Uh, Peter Pants, now guaranteed to see a level two character on turn one. I don't think I personally came across uh, not being able to buy something with Peter Pants on round one, but this seems like like a sensible buff. But also we've made some fixes to how Peter Pants works when picked with It Was All A Dream. You will now get Pants bonuses for each level above three when picked and can continue gaining bonuses if you are already level six. I believe what this means is on level six, because It Was All A Dream is a level six spell, if you pick Peter Pants, you get triple gingerbread party or triple fairy tale, which means all characters in your in your store in your shop are now plus three plus three and they can grow even further, which means turning into Peter Pans with that spell is actually something good. It's like a um, it's like almost a gra a grandmother or rather a big bad wolf, which means your board isn't plus three plus three, but your store is. And remember the buffs in, uh, for characters in the store. If you triple them, if you upgrade them, they combine. So if you get three characters with plus three, plus three from the store, if you upgrade them together, they get, get plus nine, plus nine, which is already a good thing. Zelua. This hero was probably the least liked, the lowest rated character in the game. And right now it's gonna, it seems kind of OP. So instead of your level five and six characters costing two less gold, your level four, five and six characters cost three gold. So instead of two, three, four, three, four, you have a steady line of two, three, 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 three. So in the mid game, it is much easier for Zelwa to roll, to get exactly what you want, to get those treasures. And level four, comes soon enough. It's only six rounds until you get to level four. So for the first six rounds, you have no ability. But in the mid game, this and late game, this kicks into really high gear. If you can snatch one spell, one experience point spell, be it Trash Candlelight, be it the end, and you can man maintain a full board, not losing that much health. If you can, uh, if you can Harry Zelwa up by one round. It is amazing. At least that's the theory. Obviously, the practice will say a bit more. Uh, so from uh, from really bad to a potentially OP. Okay, Morgan Le Fay. Uh, right now, you get a second treasure when you drop below five health. Uh, and as I said, if you can hit the one four sweet spot. For an extra treasure. And yes, it seems like a sweet spot. I believe what it means is that if you cast It Was All a Dream when you are at, at one through four health and you can catch Morgan Le Fay, you get two treasures of your level, which is a huge boost. I mean, if you can get Sword Plus 100 and Round Table at the same time, and by at the same time, I do not mean in the cho in your choice of three treasures, but in two consecutive choices, obviously. Also, with the end now giving you more health, you can maybe balance there, like drop. You can try once again dropping below, gaining with the end, gaining once again with the end, dropping for one combat, even if just barely. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, Morgan Le Fay is still not an early game character. It is still better to transform into her. Uh, but if you pick her, there is the additional safety cushion. So if you drop below 20 health on level four, you get that, let's say, Sky Castle. So your prince, so your royals get plus four, plus four. But it's still not going really well. And you dip below five, just barely. But you get a level six treasure then you're not losing any value on Morgan Le Fay. So that's a, that's a good change. Um, now also, now in the store, if you go for heroes unowned that are not pumpkin, you can see these are locked and you can purchase them from this screen. So right now, for example, I'm only missing six characters and Zelwa is going to get purchased ASAP. Um, 
you, you can buy them right now for all the completion completionists. Uh, also, uh, stolen exact copies of Captain Croc will now summon the Swallowed character for you instead of the player you stole the Croc from. Um, and most importantly, uh, where is this? Um, fixed remaining treasures that were ignoring volume settings right here. So. Uh, gaining health from fountain, gaining health from uh, from slippers, no longer is insane on the volume level, and we get updated art for four spells and five treasures, and that art is really good. You're gonna see it in the game. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, except for one, except for one, except for the evil Puff Puff twin. Haha. -ha! Yeah, this will surely affect my inheritance. Yeah, and I will leave you with that Peter Griffin quote, and hopefully see you in the uh, Storybook Brawl tech videos. But for now, take care, play more brawls, Kalibovich out.